According to residents, the first shell slammed into Kramatorsk at around half past 10 in the evening, just 30 minutes after the army ceasefire expired. By the time President Poroshenko went on television to appeal for the understanding of the people of eastern Ukraine, no one here was watching. With a militia fighter leading the way, we descend into a basement which also serves as the building's bomb shelter. With no electricity, life here is a twilight existence, even in the middle of the day. And some of the elderly residents have stopped venturing above ground at all. It was really scary. The balconies were blown off. The windows were all broken. We're left without electricity or gas. It's just awful. When the shelling began, Claudia also fled to the shelter. She came back to find every window in her apartment blown out. She wants help from the United States. I don't know what I'm going to do. Honestly, I have no idea. You have to invite Obama here and have him tell me. Others have stopped looking for answers or for help and are just leaving. At a checkpoint south of the town, we found refugees boarding two large buses bound for the Russian border. In his televised address to the nation, President Poroshenko promised a targeted military campaign specifically aimed at the separatist militants, not the public of eastern Ukraine. But the people here are scared and they're already leaving. As fathers waved tearful goodbyes through the glass to their wives and children, the sadness was tinged with a deep sense of bitterness. We never thought it would turn out like this. We didn't expect this. There are no words to describe it. They're bombing homes and schools, and that's why I'm waving off my grandchildren today, to get them as far away from here as I can. My children and grandchildren have gone, and I'm left here alone with my husband, and they're bombing us from airplanes. Even with the ceasefire over, international diplomatic efforts are ongoing. But in the separatist towns of eastern Ukraine, it feels as though diplomacy failed long ago.